welcome back to Not From This World's Daz Studio tutorial series. My goal is to always make Daz Studio a little bit easier for you with quick, simple tutorials that get your rendering as fast as you can. So today I want to talk about three skin manipulations that we can do to enhance our model. Now, I see a lot of tutorials out there for Daz Studio regarding skin, and to be quite honest with you, things seem to be pretty complicated. So I want to keep this really simple and keep you from spending money on programs or uh, props for your Daz and just work within Daz to get things rolling. So the first thing I want to do is just show you really quickly something that I see on tutorials all the time, which is changing the skin tone of our character. So you can see here, I've got my Milika girl uh, kind of in her backyard. Looks like she's getting ready to swim in the pool. And I've put on kind of a skimpy uh, bikini on her to show you some of these little skin hacks. So perhaps she's been out in the sun getting a tan. So if I want to change the skin tone, you can see that she's pretty pale. If I do a um, eye ray preview, we'll see that we've got her skin uh, pretty light. All right, so she looks pretty good, but that's pretty light skin. So maybe she has gotten a tan. Now, in order to change her skin tone, all we need to do is make sure that she is selected in our uh, scene, and we're gonna go to surfaces. So we're usually playing here on parameter. We're gonna go to surfaces, and then with our Milica character, we're gonna drop down to skin. Now, what we really care about is the skin setup on the right here with all these dials. We're gonna go down to translucency weight. And her translucency weight at the moment is set at just 0.1. So that is pretty light. If we change this number, we're gonna uh, change her skin tone. So for example, if we want her darker, all I have to do is change this perhaps to maybe 0.5. So when I change it to 0.5, let's see what happens. Ah, see, she's already more tan. If I wanna go darker, I can just change this to say perhaps 0.8 and she's gonna be much darker. All right, so simple uh, way to change her skin tone. I happen to like kind of pale girl, so we're gonna put her back at 0 0.10. So that's just the first hack. All right. For the second hack with your skin, we're gonna make our character's skin look wet. Maybe she just got out of the pool and she's covered in water. Now, there are products you can buy and they're really good products that will add a layer to your character's skin that will add moisture. So um, what happens with this is we add a layer and then on that layer, it's translucent. It has uh, a texture with beads of water. So it looks like our character's wet. Now, if you don't want to spend the money on those kind of props, we can make a wet looking skin texture in Daz Studio. So this is also really easy. All we have to do is come to our scene click on our character and once we click on our character we're going to go to the surface tab and from the surface tab you just click on the character again so there's going to be a list of things that 
the character has. We're just going to click on our character. And what we're going to look for in our tabs is this thing called glossy roughness. Now, glossy roughness needs to be changed from zero to 0 0.13. And when we do that, we're going to change the glossiness of our skin. All right, so I'm gonna go back to zero really quick. And we're going to do this glossy roughness in an eye ray preview. So let's get our eye ray preview going. All right, so here's our girl without the wet skin. And we're gonna go to this glossy roughness. And the best number to punch in, you can play around with it, but the best number is 0 0.13. And when we do that, watch her skin become wet. So this is pretty cool. And, uh, you know, we can, we can mess with this. You can also drop down on your character's menu, go to surfaces, and you can change that glossy roughness on different items. So for example, if you don't want her, uh, arms wet, but you want her legs wet, just click on the legs, find glossy roughness, make it uh, 0.13 or back to zero, whatever you want. So this is pretty cool. And you can see that she's got a wet texture. Let's kind of change it. All right, so it looks like that she just got out of the swimming pool. Pretty cool. Okay, so for my third skin hack, we're going to give our character a simple tattoo. Now, I don't use Photoshop, and I want to show you how you can do this without Photoshop. I know that there's tutorials out there that show you this complicated method for adding a tattoo to your character using Photoshop. I don't know how to use Photoshop. I've never touched it. What I do use is a program called GIMP. And I had it in my uh, previous video, but GIMP is awesome because it is free. And all you have to do is type in GIMP and it'll come up with a download. You can uh, click on the GIMP download and then you can download GIMP to your computer. And it's super easy, it's free, and it has a lot of options. And so I highly recommend that if you are using Daz Studio that you get GIMP. Um, you can do a lot of post work in GIMP and you can do uh, a lot of uh, Photoshop type work with GIMP. So to give our character a tattoo, we're going to select our character. Then down here in the surface tab, we're going to select her again and go to surfaces scroll down until we get to her torso and select the torso. Now, when we select the torso, we're going to look at base color. And when we look at the image inside base color, this is the model's texture. So we're going to click on that and then head to browse. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up the folder where our um, texture is located. So I actually am using a customized texture for our, my Milica. And so I'm just going to open this. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to open with GIMP. So we're going to open GIMP up and that's going to allow us to add this tattoo. 
Okay, so now we have our Milica texture in GIMP. Now, what I want to do is I want to add a tattoo. And so we need to find a tattoo. I went on to the internet and I found a tattoo that I liked. And so I saved it into a folder. And so I'm going to open it up. So this is just a simple butterfly picture that I found on Pinterest. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go to layer and go to transparency and make sure that this add alpha channel is selected. So select the add alpha channel. Then you want to go to this uh, tab that is going to be uh, called the by color select. If you don't see it on the main menu, just go to tools, selection tools, and the by color select. Now when you select that, you're gonna get a little menu down here. Make sure that this uh, anti-aliasing is selected and the draw mask is selected. You can also add feather edges if you want to, but that's not necessary. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna re uh, remove the background. We want the butterfly, but we don't want the background. So by selecting this by color uh, tool, we are going to select everything in the picture that's white. So if I select it, you can see that I just selected everything that's white. And I can change this by moving the threshold. See, I can, I can completely get rid of everything or I can uh, manipulate it so that just the white is gone. Now, in order for this to work, you just let go of your mouse. So unclick it and then just hit the delete key on your keyboard. Now, when we get this pixelization, this means that the background's gone, which is totally sweet. So now I'm going to uh, select my little box here. This is the rectangle select tool. And I'm just gonna select the entire butterfly and I can go to edit copy or just hit control C. And now I'm gonna open up my Milica uh, texture and I'm just gonna go edit paste or control V. Now I have this butterfly on my texture. Now I want to put it on her left side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this rotate tool. I'm going to select the rotate tool and then I'm just going to rotate it to how I like it. Once it's in the position I like, I'm just going to hit the rotate button and you can see it's rotated. And then I can adjust it if I need to hit rotate and then to get out of the rotate I want to go back to that select color tool and then I can move it to where I want so I think I'm gonna put it right about here alright then I can click off of it and my butterfly is in position okay so now that I have my tattoo added to my torso I need to save it. You want to save it as a different file as the original because if you just hit like export as and then export it out, you're going to overwrite the original torso texture. So we don't want to do that. So we're going to go to file, export as, and then we have the name here and I'm, I changed it to tattoo so that it's going to be a different file than our original. 
I'm going to select texture, the texture uh, folder, and I'm going to hit export. Then I hit export again, and this is going to save my torso into that texture folder that I created to make the um, Daz Studio stuff. So now I can go back to Daz Studio and with my Milica uh, character selected, I'm going to go back to Torso. I'm going to hit this picture again. I'm going to go to Browse and then I'm going to go to my Texture folder and I should be able to scroll down and find the Milica uh, torso texture with the tattoo. All I have to do is double click it and we have her tattoo. So that's how you can make a tattoo for your girl. Pretty sweet. All right, I hope that these three little tips are going to help you play around with your skin textures and allow you to make some cool renders. So, hey, if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button, like my videos, and I really appreciate your patronage, and I will see you next time. Take care.